Hey everyone, this is Sean OTD. Thanks again for watching. Is it worth it? Today, King's Crown. All right, uh, first up is uh, Fight Your Fate. Beautifully crafted liquid will wrap you in tart lemons and sweet ripe strawberries. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah. Um, I don't quite get the tartness as much as I get the strawberry lemonade. But the blending of the, the strawberry and the lemon is equal. So I'm not tasting strawberry over the lemon, and I'm not tasting lemon over the strawberry. They're they're very level, which is which is really good, and and has a nice combination mixture to it. Uh, but it has a more of a sweet flavor again versus the tart flavor. A little bit on the side of the tongue, on, on this side, I felt just a little tingle and just a little bit of a, of a, of a feel through my nose, but very, very, very faint. And I, I was looking specifically for the tart flavor and I could barely, barely pick it up. Um, I think it's a very, very nice strawberry lemonade, nice, smooth, sweet strawberry lemonade. Um, I definitely think that's something I could vape on. So moving right along, uh, let's go ahead and do something that does have a little bit of cream in it. Uh, bound by the crown. Sweet custard spice and ripened stone fruits. Mmm. That's very different. Um, the spice custard is, it's not baking spice. I was expecting by it being a sweet custard with spice, I was expecting baking seasonings, like, you know, undertones of cinnamon and brown sugar and that kind of spice. It's not like that. It is a little more earthy. So you're going to have like more of an oregano type or some other, I'm not, a, I'm not a chef, so I don't know what those flavors are, but you know, it's kind of like that hibiscus or that, you know, oregano or those other earthly cooking like a dish, like, you know, a, a non-sweet dish spice um, that kind of gets in there and you can taste some, some fruit flavors mixed with this spiced custard, which is kind of like spiced rum. Uh, to get more of a more of a, a I guess a better uh, effect, kind of like a, a spiced rum. It's that kind of a spice. It's very very pleasant, very good, very smooth. Okay, up next, claim your throne. Uh, it's a uh, sweet creams, butterscotch, and brown sugar. Wow. That is a very complex blend of flavors. That's, that was kind of overwhelming. Um, wow, that was a lot of flavors. I, could, I couldn't, I was just like, flavor, 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 flavor. It's like, whoa, that's very, very different. Let me try that again. Now, now that the shock is over with, <laughs> now it's time for the aw. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's try that again. Mm. Off a nice slow exhale, I can taste the subtleties of cream of the uh, of the um, cu sweet custard, but with a heavier overtone of the butterscotch, uh, but just enough subtleties of sweet custard to really smooth things out. 
Now I'm going to try that in Excel again and see how all the medley comes together. That is so weird. That's really good, but it's really different because I'm um, tasting the uh, tasting the butterscotch coming through. It almost completely mutes out the custard, but the creaminess of the custard kind of tones down the earthiness through the exhale through the nose, but without tasting so much of it. But I can still feel all that earthiness coming through with a butterscotch aftertaste. Um, I could vape on that, and I'm usually not a butterscotch guy, and I have to say that that. That was pretty delicious. And last but not least, the king. Smooth peanut butter and cappuccino. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that was... That was really cool. I like that. Um, well, the first exhale, the first part of the exhale, I could taste kind of a, it was just kind of a sweet flavor. It was, I, I didn't notice any hints of peanut butter or anything like that. It was just a sweet, smooth flavor. And then all of a sudden, some of the, some of the subtleties of the peanut butter flavor started to come out but not necessarily in peanut butter form, but in, in similar, you know, in that, in that texture. And if, by the time I finished exhaling, I was like, okay, I can now start to taste some peanut butter. Where's the, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's the aftertaste. The cappuccino is the aftertaste. And I still feel like I had just taken a sip of coffee and set it down and I can taste that that coffee flavor on my tongue even still right now, which is pretty cool because I didn't taste it at all until I finished exhaling. So let's try a couple of other exhales and see how that works. Okay, so a nose exhale is gonna give you that coffee flavor right out of the gate. Didn't taste any of the peanut butter um, yeah, it might have mellowed out some of the earth tones. I don't know. Uh, as a, just my second poem on that. But uh, definitely a cappuccino just right there. And now to brass tacks, is it worth it? Yes, definitely worth it. And if you haven't checked out my last week's video with Suicide Bunny, click right here and you can check that out. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and vape on.